Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is the pretest for lines. So here we go. Question number one says to follow these steps. Start at zero, zero, and then you need to move right eight units. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then move up. And where am I at? I'm at six. That's my answer right there, six. Mr. Barr knows the relationship between the number of hours he works and the amount of money he earns is proportional. Which of the following equations could model this? Proportional means it's a y equals mx plus zero, y equals mx plus zero, m equals eight x. That is a proportional relationship. I'm looking for y equals eight x, m equals eight h. That's a proportional relationship. Create the equation for this line. In order to create the equation, I first have to find the slope. To find the slope, I find two good points. Here are my two good points. I count my rise, which is three. I count my run, which is five. So my slope is three-fifths. I come over here and I find my y-intercept. That's at zero. My y-intercept is at zero. So y equals mx plus b, y equals m, x plus b. y equals three-fifths x plus zero. Or just y equals three-fifths x. Look at this guy and tell me the slope. The slope of this is negative four over five. The y-intercept is right here at negative three. The rise is negative four, it's actually a fall. And the run is five. Graph the following equation. Let's zoom in a little bit here. The equation says to start at four so I start at four and then I go up one over three. One, two, three. Up one over three. Up one over three. Create the equation for this line. I need to find the slope. To find the slope, I find two good points. Good point, good point. I count the rise, which is two. I count the run, which is one. That gives me negative two over one or just negative two. Why is it negative? Because it's going downhill. If I write my name on it, I see that it's going down. Where is my y-intercept? My y-intercept is right there at four. So I have my slope, which is negative two. I have my b, which is four, so I plug it in. y equals m, x plus b. Plug in the m, plug in the b. y equals negative two x plus four. Create the slope-intercept equation for this. Find two good points. There's a good point, there's a good point. Count the rise, count the run. The rise is one, the run is three, my slope is one third. It's positive, it's positive. My y-intercept is at negative two, my y-intercept is at negative two. Y equals mx plus b, I plug it in, there's my m, there's my b. Find the error on this. Mr. Barr says that this line goes with this equation. Well, the slope of this line is 2 thirds. But right here, I have the slope as 3 halves. I have the wrong slope. Oh, Mr. Barr. So let's find the answer here. The slope is 2 thirds. The equation should be y equals 2 plus 2 thirds. Don't freak out that this is in a different order. Sometimes people switch it around. It's OK to switch things around in addition. Just like 2 plus 5 is 7, 5 plus 2 is 7. This is a y equals mx plus b. It's just in a weird order. It's really y equals b plus mx, y equals b plus mx. It's the same equation, just in a different order. Create the slope intercept, nope, not create the slope intercept equation. This is weeks and dollars. It's how much money I have. Question is, how much do I save each week? So I come to one week and I have 2250 halfway between 20 and 25. Create the slope-intercept equation for this. Well, this is the slope right here. Right? It's a rise of 2250 over a run of one. And my y-intercept is at zero. So I put it all together and I get y equals 2250x, but I swap out the w and the d, so dollars equals 2250 times.
times the number of weeks. And then how much do I have after seven weeks? Well, if I'm making $22.50 a week times seven weeks is $157.50. That's the video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.